This is Excalibur Zero here today, and today I'm going to show you the Quarry Machine from the Technic mod. Now, the Quarry Machine is a high voltage machine for the Technic mod, which allows you to essentially have um, it um, dig down and um, output the um, things that it digs through tubes. Um, yeah, let me just see if I can get fly mode and show you. Um, okay, it's kind of hard to see in this because it's so large, but um, these blocks here that look like, kind of like metal with a messy pickaxe on the front are quarry machines. Now, um, what they do is they dig down um, in, in front where the pickaxe is showing, um, and they dig one node at a time. As you can see here, I have four of them going in the same spot, but um, you only have one going in only have one digging at a time, but you can set up um, up to four um, per area, I guess, depending on what type set of use. Um, and um, so note these are high voltage machines, so you need to have high voltage energy. Um, so here I have a setup where I have solar high voltage solar arrays, um, a switching station, and then a high voltage battery box. Um, and um, so you set the wiring to the quarry, and um, whatever way you place the quarry, it'll have um, the messy pickaxe. Well, the direction of that will be determined in which way you're looking when you place it. Um, and the, w the direction of the pickaxe is the direction in which it'll dig. So, for instance, you, got, so you can see um, I have one pickaxe facing this way, there, there. So all three of those would be digging the same area, pretty much. And in terms of the area that they can dig, um, I think the default radius is 2. They can set it higher, I believe. Um, here I set it to 4. Um, and what the radius essentially does, um, let me just go down here so you can see. Um, so this is a radius of essentially 2. So what it does is it has... Um, one node in the middle, and then it goes two out from that, two out from that, two out from that, two out from that. And note that it goes from the radius out. So this is actually the center of where it's sticking from, so there's two nodes of radius. Um, and note that the quarry, um, pushes out the nodes that it digs upwards, so you can place um, pipes on top of it, and then send those to go elsewhere. Um, and then you can do, set up other tabs for like having it sorted and stuff in different boxes. Um, and um, let me just give you an example of a setup here. Um, let's see. Just build off of this setup, I think. Um, just place the quarry there and make sure it's facing the way you want it to dig. Um, and once it's got power, I believe it says power now. Um, you can um, you can start it up, or and once it's start up, you can disable it. Um, you can set the radius so it set it to two and start it. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, I just updated my version of Technic, so um, uh, excuse me here while I try to figure. It oh, there we go. Okay. Looks like you just have to hit the disable button in order to enable it. In order to switch it over to enable, and then just set up the pipes and all that, and it will start. Um, digging. And note that it takes things layer by layer, so it'll take the first layer off, then it'll take the second layer off, um, and all that, so if you have like already holes there, then it will kind of ignore the holes and just keep digging layer by layer. Um, um, yeah, quarries are going to be a little bit hard to figure out at first, but um, once you start using them, they, they, um, they start making more sense. Um, 
Now the max um, distance that a quarry will dig, I believe, is about 100 nodes. So for instance, um, right here I'm at a Y height of 33.5, but if I jump to this bottom of this fully dug out mine, um, I'm at negative 65.5, which I believe is about 100. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly sure that is about 100. Maybe off by one or something, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, well, essentially, it'll keep digging until it reaches that 100. Um, so, I um, haven't really used them much in any sort of single player mode or anything like that, but I'm um, trying to try to get into that a bit. Um, I notice they take like a little while to get um, down to the deeper area because you have to dig all the area above in order to get to the lower areas where the better ores are. And, um, I believe that's actually really about it. Um, yeah, you want to set up um, the pipes to go to actually like a chest or something, so that way they don't just keep popping stuff out. And that'll keep uh, digging until it either runs out of power or until it runs out of area to dig below it. Which, that area being 100 nodes. Um, and um, you, wanna, you may want to note that um, power consumption on quarries is quite high. Um, you probably need like 2 or 3 minimum solar high voltage solar arrays to have it running constantly. Um, I've done it before in single player where I just have one solar panel. High voltage solar panel and then a high voltage generator going since it's sort of difficult to craft a whole bunch of high voltage solar panels. But um it's just like a high voltage solar panel it'll it'll run intermittently so it'll it'll build up enough energy in the battery box to run and then it will um It'll go through that energy whenever it has enough to run once, and then it'll turn off, run once, turn off. Um, so it digs slower, but um, it'll still dig. Um, it's obviously able to build up enough energy. Um, and I believe that's really about it in terms of um, what there is in terms of when it comes to the quarry machines. Um, a little bit hard to figure out, but, um, yeah, they're really more of a visual thing. Um, I had to see another video to understand how they work, but, um, decided to make this one to clarify a bit more on how they work and all that. Um, so, thanks for watching. If you like this video, um, please sure, be sure to check out my other videos on my channel, um, a lot of other, um, videos on my test mods and other features of mods. Um, so be sure to like this video, um, comments, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see any of my other videos as I release them. So thanks for watching. This is Caliber Zero signing off.